So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today is time again for a little bit of Power Query transformations. And uh, what I'm going to show you how to do is how to add leading zeros and also ending zeros using uh, a very, very simple Power Query function. So if you don't know how to do it, stay tuned because we are going to do that in a second. Okay, so here we are in Excel, and this is, I think, a very common requirement. Let's say that we have a product model version, and then we have like a version code. And what we would like to have instead of 345, what we want to have is 00345. And for the version, instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we would like to have 100, 100, 400. But you know how Excel is and Power Query does the same sometimes, it just strips the zeros for no reason and you don't get them back. So, so I'm going to show you how to actually get those zero backs, both leading zeros and ending zeros. It's actually very easy, so let's begin. So here we are in Power BI now. We have imported the numbers that you saw on the Excel file. And what we're going to do is we're going to add two leading zeros to the product model and we're going to add two ending zeros to the version. Okay, so let's start with the product model. What we're going to do is to add a custom column and we call it leading zeros, for example. Now, I never remember the name of this function. How many times I've used it? It's just, I don't know, somehow it just slips my mind. But it's called actually pod start. And let's go and see what Microsoft says about it before we use it. Because another thing that I always forget is the order of the um, expressions that are inside. Let me show you. So here is the documentation for it, text pod start. And here's how you use it. First, you give it the text that you would like to um, do the padding on. And the text, you know, is of course, in our case, a column. And then the length, the total length, you would like the padding to be. And then what do you want it to pad it with? Okay. So this is important. I always mix these two up when I try to do this function by memory. I, I don't know why I use it often and I, okay, I still can't remember. This is a mystery for me. But, but now we actually read how it's used, so we know exactly what to do. We put product model, comma. Remember, it was the number of digits we want to pad it, the total number. So we have three digits here. We want to have two leading zeros. So three plus two is five. And we want to pad it with zeros. And you just want to write zero once. You don't need to write zero, zero, or zero, zero, zero. So that is a confusion I also had in the beginning. Now. I'm going to say OK, but I'm going to get an error. Why am I getting an error? Because text pad, as the function name says itself, it wants text. And as you can see here, we have number. You have two choices. You could change these to a text, or you can actually change it here. I'm going to change it here. I, I just think it's easier. And, you know, every step you do in Power Query will cost you. So, I mean, if you can combine steps, it's just good for performance. Now, here is another function that I never remember, and is how to convert number to text. I always write text dot to number, and <laughs> that does not exist. The write function is, oh dear, I forgot again, is, is, hmm. My God. Yeah, number to text. I think. Mm, yeah, it was correct. 
So now we have our two little zeros. You say, oh, I want to have instead of zero, I want to have a one. No problem. You just change it to one and you will have two leading ones. Okay. Now we are going to add two ending zeros to our version. For that, we go to custom column and in zeros. And here, guess how this is called? Pad end. Makes sense, right? Now, version. This is created exactly the same way. So how many um, characters you want to have? We want to have in this case, instead of one, 100. So it's one plus two, three. And we want to have leading zeros. Again, this is a text function. And version right now is a number, so we need to change that to text on the fly. So, okay, and voila, here we have 100, 200, 400, 500. Would you like to have something else than zero? Threes? No problem, you can do that. Very easy, right? So useful functions, not easy to remember, at least for me, but now you know them. So hopefully we'll help you on the future parkour endeavors. Okay, so this is actually all for today. I really hope you enjoyed the trick and then you use it a lot. I find myself using it quite often. So I was thinking that uh, probably you do too and now you know how is it done when the need actually comes in um, as usual if you like the video let me know by liking it or please share it if you know somebody that would like it to uh, comments questions suggestions on any of the videos just let me know on the comment box uh, or any of the social channels listed below and i will answer you as soon as possible and uh, subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every week. Now, don't forget to hit the bell if you want to get notifications on when I post new videos, okay? Because uh, YouTube has changed the rules and even if you're subscribed, you will not get a notification unless you hit that bell. So if you want to get notifications when I publish new content, just make sure you click on the bell. So yeah, that's all for tonight. Have a great, great evening. Bye.